Hello everybody and welcome back to more Isaac. We are showcasing another character again today and this is Tainted Andromeda. I'd only realized recently that I haven't showcased this character in a very long time and a lot of the people that are new here probably haven't seen this guy. This guy is a very intriguing character, part of the Andromeda mod. Terrible hit there. But our tears come out from a little uh, black hole in the middle, a little singularity, and they then orbit around and back towards us it makes it very very hard to hit things um especially in larger rooms like this but it's a really interesting concept for a character and it, and it gets pretty wacky it gets pretty wacky and there's some interesting items you can get here one of the items that i've had before in this character that is uh, uh debatable is um ipecac <laughs> you know the um the suicide king challenge well yeah that that was my life <laughs> um it was pretty interesting but we did get one of our little uh, item rooms here. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, as this character, you shouldn't be opening item rooms. We gain um, we, we gain no nothing from that. Because as you can see, in our items, we have Singularity down there. And Singularity is, is pretty interesting. Basically, it gains a charge when we pick things up. But in the item room, there's nothing to pick up. So it'll just give us nothing. But that's how we gain all of our items, and then we gain an item based on the room type that we're in. Apart from secret rooms, they have a bit of a different rule. They give you one guaranteed secret room item, then after that it's a diminishing returns type deal. So that you can't just get only secret room items, because that would probably be quite powerful. But as you can see, we're pretty strong at the moment. We're able to, um, really? We're able to kill enemies pretty fast, but that comes with obviously a lot of downsides of actually aiming. Um, which is certainly quite difficult. But yeah, I know this is a bit of an older character, um, but this guy's been out like a year, two years, something like that. But I thought, I don't know, let's go back to the classics and check check out something I haven't showcased on the channel in quite some time. I thought it'd be fun. Uh, also, this guy is a, is a fun challenge character. I mean, so far we're not doing great as if I've been hit twice on the first floor, which isn't isn't ideal considering our low, low starting health. Um, <laughs> But, yeah, so we want to be making sure to take advantage of everything we possibly can. We do also get a guaranteed full charge from the boss, which is really nice. But we are going to get a charge here um, from going over back to this stuff that's in the middle of the room and grabbing it. Uh, because there's a, a bomb there, it's kind of worthwhile to do this. So we do that, and then we'll go boom. All items in the room cycle between five random items. Oh my god, that's so good. Okay, so now we need to find the secret room really quick. So, where's secret room going to be? It very easily could be right here, actually. Um, let's just check the whole way around. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gamble on it being there. There you go. So, now we can pop singularity and see what item we get. Oh, this is also a really good room for us because that's a lot of pennies. So, before we pick up the pennies, let's pop singularity down here. And we got the Eternal D6. I'm still going to go with this, though, and see if we get anything better. Okay, we did get a really good item there. Um, let's grab all of those. It is a little hard to grab things right now, uh, because I am using uh, using the mod that nerfs it a little bit. As you can see, it'll still rotate even when we're paused. I'm going to need that heart to stop touching me real quick. That heart's going to end up pushing me into this, isn't it? It literally is. Dude, heart, go away. I need timing here. You need to back off. There you go. Right. We're going to want to grab it right after... Um, Crimson Stick comes after... I can't tell. I'm trying to see which it comes after. I think it's the moldy mushroom. Dude, this, this heart... Needs to step the hell off. <laughs> Go away. You ain't involved right now. You ain't it, chief. Right. Moldy D6, I think it is. This is I'm probably going to do this wrong because it's cycling so damn fast. Oh, I got it. Nice one. Okay, Crimson Stick, really, really good item. Essentially, with this item, we can bomb our way into red rooms, which is obviously pretty awesome. Hey, we got a new boss here as well. This guy's going to be kind of hard to grab uh, grab a kill on. We'll do our best. Yeah, we're just going to have to be mighty cautious. 
We did get plus five bombs from our item as well here. I do want to use a bomb on him uh, just to do damage, but our bombs are so valuable now for red rooms that I kind of don't want to do that. This guy's going to be probably a reasonably lengthy fight right now. Just because the angle that we've got to hit him at is uh, skewed, so to say. Oh, God. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, actually. That lined up pretty nicely for us to get an easy kill. But Crimson Stick, we have seen it before. We know it's a really beautiful item. We know it's a really fun one. Okay. Oh, both of those are going. We've almost got him. We didn't get hit by any of the explosions thus far as well, which I'm pretty happy about. I thought we were going to get hit by a few of those. There you go, we got him. We got him. And we got another charge here, so... Now we can either grab a boss item, 50% chance for a secret room item, or we can just pop Singularity in one of these rooms, which I think I'm going to do here. And we get Eyesaws, which I think is uh, probably pretty good for us here. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Eyesaws is decent for us here. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Let's keep this moving along. Ooh, stars align. That means we've got a planetarium. I've, that's a mod I've got. Basically, a planetarium notification mod to tell you. Oh, dude, this is going to be good. We're going to get a charge pretty quick here. Ooh, I'm liking eyesores a lot. So I am going to use bombs on this, even though my bombs are more valuable elsewhere. Just because we get a lot of stuff out of it. And we did get Infestation 2, and we get to keep that, so... So we got Singularity again here. I'm going to pop it here straight away. We get the Sand Pouch. Apply Solomons to an enemy. Solomons slows enemies and increases the damage they take. Ooh, okay. That's a quality four as well. I've never actually gotten the Solomons item that isn't on the Dream Guardian. Speaking of Dream Guardian, I don't think I've actually played the Dream Guardian on my, uh, on my channel yet. Like, since I, since I did my rebrand sort of thing with Isaac's series, I think I should probably give that another go. It's kind of hard to use, but I think as this character, it makes a lot of sense to use utilize this. Not got the most range, as you can see. Infestation 2 is helping us out a ton right now. I'll pop the pill. Bombs are key is actually perfect. I was looking for more, uh... I was looking for more bombs. Calm down, you. I'll take some pills. Right. Let's, um, uh, ooh, I do wonder, maybe I could just pop, like, a bunch of, like, ultra secret rooms. It depends how much damage increase it takes with the Solomons, because if it takes a, if they take a good amount of increased damage, then Solomons is going to be really, really good for, like, bosses and stuff. And it does seem like they're taking a good amount of increased damage, to be honest. Yeah, that's, that, that, that seems, like, pretty goddamn powerful. I see why it's quality four. Right, we got a charge, um... Devil Deal, we can just go in and use this and get a Devil Deal item. Um, I'm going to say, why not? Um, not the greatest item ever, but we'll take it. I don't even know if that locks us into a Devil Deal, because we didn't actually purchase a Devil Deal, so I'm not entirely sure. As for uh, question of the day, I did ask this one before, but I'll ask it again. What, um, when I played this character last, what's your favourite sort of space thing? Like, in terms of, like, space news to follow, or just interesting facts, or even maybe if it's fiction, what's, like, your sp favourite space thing? I think that'd be pretty interesting to know. Good, good. The only problem with, um... Ooh, dude, I, I kind of forgot to uh, save up money for my planetarium here. Oops. Um... I crack that open. Okay, we got a charge, good. <laughs> and we got, um, Tyndall. Near walls, uh, tears turn 90 degrees to target enemies um, that they have missed. Range up and damage up if you are near a wall. Range up and damage up if you are in room with corners. That's an interesting idea. I'm very curious to see how that ends up working for us. But yes, I think I can just kind of go like this and be like, Boom. Yeah. There you go. The tower. I can just kind of red room wherever I'd like. But yeah, as I said, the only problem is we don't know where the red rooms could exist. So it's a, it's a little difficult. Like here could be a red room or it could be nothing. It is a red room. Nice. 
And we got our ultra secret room. But yeah, we could just go for a bunch of ultra secret room items. But yeah, yeah, we are getting brainworm shots going on here. That's nice. Thank you. Yeah, unfortunately, as you can see, not the most of I most ideal of circumstances here. Because we don't actually get a red item out of these. Um, do these give us anything when they blow up? Not really. Not really worth that. Right. Oh, these actually still have stuff in them. Ooh, what's this item gonna be? Removes all of your red heart containers. If you have less than six soul hearts, give more soul hearts until you have six. Um, gives negative damage multiplier and repeated use. Wait, so I can just, like, pop this now. Wait, what? Okay, that didn't work. I don't know. I don't really know what I was supposed to be looking for with that, but it didn't do what I wanted it to. Right. Solomon's give that slow down. Beautiful stuff. Okay, cool. Right, this time let's go into Singularity in the red room. Or actually, I don't know. Singularity in the in the red room or the random chance for an extra planetarium item. I think I'm gonna go for the re the red item. The nightmare tick. Every eight rooms cleared, one passive item is removed from your inventory and. You gain 0 0.7 damage for each item removed this way. 0 0.7 damage. No, that is... That could ruin our build, and I'm, I'm liking what we have right now. Yeah, we want to be staying near walls, definitely. Um, We've got a lot of money, but I don't think we can buy stuff from the shop, so... The shop's not super valuable for us. Although, technically, we can buy charges. Okay, right. Le we we could we could keep bobbing stuff, I guess, or we could go. Ah, oh, damn it! I do like the fact that we can just bomb stuff like that. Oh, dude, stop giving us hearts! I need stuff to to fuel my charges. Right. Okay. Let's just go. Well, I think I think we basically bomb around until we find the red room, and then we we scoot off. We'll go down to the alt path though, why not? Why not? Hey, we got the uh, the boiler as well. I liketh the boiler. Yeah, we're getting a lot of brainworm shots going on and, and because of this character, we can pretty efficiently stay near the walls to gain our damage boost, which I think is really nice for us. Oh, I forgot that that enemy was a thing. That was my bad. I kind of forgot he'd do that. I like the, all those burns that we throw out there, though. That was cool. Hey, there you go. We found it straight away this time. It's going to be very, very nice being able to find the red room. I am going to go for a lot of red items. Even though there is some trash in the red item pool, there is also a lot of really good items in there, too. So I'm going to try and go for uh, good red items when I can. Range up is decent. Right, I will come back to you, room. I will come back to you. What's immolation? That's nah. That's teleport to a sacrum. I don't really care for that. Right. Thank you. You are dead. One more usage. I think we can just pop this. To be honest, I know I, do, I could use the strength card somewhere else, but I'd rather just get an item quickly. Dad's Vinyl. Shops and treasure rooms have a 50% chance to contain a slot machine that changes the room's pool with the corresponding musical track. I mean, that's really cool. And actually, to be, to be fair, that maybe could be useful. Hmm. We'll see how that goes, because obviously item rooms we don't want to be going into. But shops, being able to sh change the shop pool to a different item room pool, like Devil or Angel, could be good, because then we can spawn items in it, if that's how that works. I'm hoping it does. That's, that seems like it could potentially be pretty lucrative for us. I'm not entirely sure, but... The potential is there. God damn. He fired Bouncy Ball. I don't know what fires are mine and his. Even though I don't have fires, so none of them are mine. I'm silly. Right, I did get three random fires here to, to shoot out at enemies. Boom bow. Okay, cool. 
We're good, we're good. Yeah, I'm liking the setup we got going on right now. I'm liking it a lot. I like the fact that Crimson Stick was literally our first item. That's uh, pretty darn lucky. Especially because we got that card that makes items cycle like Glitch Crown. That's a really cool idea for a card. Because then you can force that on any item you want. You know, I guarantee you're getting a better item, but it's a damn, damn good chance. All right, remember to use our Solomons here. He is sat directly on top of where the, the tears spawn from, so... Okay, yeah. We, we have a setup now that's making us hit enemies a lot, lot easier. I'm really liking it. We do get a charge. I'm going to pop it in here again. Oh. <sighs> what? I did... I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> I'll go do the red room again. Why not? I don't even know how that happened. I, like, walked in and then instantly walked out again. Oh, can, it, can you stop with the... Uh, stop with the stuff. Red item again. Isaac's heart. It's bad, but I'll take it. I actually quite like Isaac's heart. Oh, dude, stop hitting that, please. I am a big lover of Isaac's heart. It gets a bad rap. Right, it'd be nice to get a damage up item at some point. I'm going to go back down to the regular floor. Only because I don't want to waste two bombs on that door when our bombs are better used looking for red rooms. Cool. Yeah, that Solomon's thing is so nice. And then now Isaac's heart should keep us reasonably safe. As long as we play it right. Okay, we got him. Left hand's kind of an interesting one. Um, I probably don't want it though. I probably don't want it. Ow. That wasn't a secret room or a red room. What about you? Damn it! Yes, it, that is the problem. You waste bombs so easily because it's it's hard to know where the red rooms are gonna be. Okay. Also, Infestation Two is like a massive item for us because it's just passive ability to deal damage. Thank you for the extra bomb. We are very much looking for as many of those as you can give us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not quite sure when the brainworm activates. It seems to be when it gets near a wall, but also sometimes not. It's that's what it said, it said near a wall on the uh, description, but it's not always true. Dude, we are an absolute G at finding this at the minute. We're doing really, really well. The good thing is we do get a lot of chests when we uh, come in here. Dude, that's annoying. I don't really want a devil deal teleport right now. Oh, one moment. Right, let's keep this trainer moving. Let's keep going. Okay, so we are going to need to come back in here, obviously, with a charge, if we should get one soon. Um, hopefully so. It'd be nice if we could get some something, like an item that's going to help us to generate more uh, like money or more cards, or I don't know. Just anything that's going to generate stuff for us would be really, really nice. Good, good. So let's check in here what's going on with this thing. Okay. I thought the item said, the dad's vinyl thing said... Uh, why does it say analog stick? We don't have, oh, we have a Lamageddon Wisp for analog stick. Apparently. Oh, um, I think analog stick is built into this character, but it's invisible. Okay, I can't see it. I, wa I wanna, I wanna check, uh, check out that dad's vinyl thing, but unfortunately, I don't think it's doing much for us right now. Right. But yeah, also another thing that's good about the red pool is because it's red items, it can be basically any pool of items. Works out quite nicely for us. I will bomb this, however. Did please. God damn it, really. One of my tears knocked that. Ooh. Wasn't expecting that. I'm very happy about it. We finally got a base damage increase. Which we were kind of in need of. Oh, dude, so much stuff to pick up, but I can't grab it. I need flight. Also, our tears look really cool right now. Yeah, we need like higher luck for better room drop chance or something. Oh dude, I keep getting hit and I'm like, why am I getting hit? It's because I've got Isaac's heart and I'm not thinking about it. Isaac's heart's really good, but you've got to pay attention to it. You can't just let things happen. Otherwise, you will definitely take more damage. Extra key. 
Nice. We're, may we're maybe not going to get an additional charge here apart from the one we get from the boss. Okay, chill out. Where are you going? There you go. Easy. Dude, room drops, please. All I ask for is a few little room drops. Ah, that one's at the other side of the room. Right. I guess we're going to do our boss and get our charge from our boss first then. And then we'll come back and see if we can get anything more. Okay, be a little careful with this guy, but considering the damage he's taking from Solomon's there is, uh... Yeah, pretty, pretty wild considering he died very quickly. Unfortunately, we'd have to go literally all the way back to the start to, um... Get to our red room. I, I, by the way, obviously I do realize we could just spawn regular treasure room items and hope for the best. But I don't know, I'm just... Like... I'm, with the crimson stick and stuff, I'm just feeling the theme of a red run. I don't know, I just feel like it could be fun. Good, good. Sadly, no extra things for our charges there. Little annoying, because I don't think there's any other way we're going to gain a charge now. I think we're basically stuck on what we're at, because we've still got like, what, like four or five pips to go. We could look for the secret room, but again, I don't really want to waste bombs and stuff that isn't red rooms. I can't believe I ch ch picked that one thing and it ended up being the red room. Right. Bird's Eye. That's pretty good. And I think Bird's Eye will fire from us, not from the... Yes, it will. Okay, cool. So now we can actually use our body to aim, because if we fire at an enemy, there's a chance we fire a Bird's Eye chili fire at them. So we've got a reason to actually be aiming our body, our self, at an enemy, which is good. What would be really nice is getting something that deals contact damage. Um, because, like, Mum's heel was back there. Unfortunately, we couldn't grab it when uh, we killed the boss. Because we have Isaac's heart, we can just walk into enemies and not take damage. To be fair, I can also go to cash rooms, and I've just walked past one. But at this point, I'm not going back again. Also, is my mic peaking really loud? No, no. Okay. Weird. I, I just looked at my um, my thingy microphone on the side there, and it looks like it's really loud, but I think it's okay. Another plantarium. Lovely. Yeah, so we're going to be setting fires off all over the place. I like that a lot. There's that. Lovely. These rooms are always going to be good for us. Boom, boom, boom. Lots and lots of stuff to grab. That's a look upgrade that we like to see. The sun. I thought I had the mod that clears Curse of the Blind with the sun. Sadly, I don't think I do. Unfortunately, not having mapping here is uh, rather not nice. But I'm pretty sure I have it set where if you kill the boss, we, the mapping goes away. But yeah, you can see with 22 luck, we are firing fires like crazy. In fact, so much so that I'm just going to pop this. Gemini is decent enough. It'd be a waste of a charge to not use that there. Okay, be a little careful here. There is a lot of spiders. I'm definitely going to take damage if I'm not careful. Luckily, the fires are uh, forming a protective shell around me. Dude, it keeps giving us red hearts. It's obviously not what I want right now. I'm a character that can't use them for anything. Okay. There's our planetarium. We can come in here and pop that. Luna is a pretty good one. I liketh the Luna. Yeah, we need to find our boss room so we can get rid of this uh, curse. I'm pretty sure I have that mod still on. I might not. I definitely enabled it at one point. I do lose luck for backtracking through rooms, so I want to be always going forward with this duck item. Unfortunately, we're on a run where backtracking is very necessary, so the duck item is actually not going to really do that much good for us. I don't even know where I'm going right now. Okay, good. I can use a bomb here to get a bomb, because then that gives us an extra pip on our charge. There's more value. Oh god. We are killing stuff at an alarming rate though, but I am I am a little worried to see my health isn't amazing. Oh, 
Ooh, golden bombs. Okay, so the duck makes this really bad because golden bombs is ace. We could really take advantage of golden bombs here. Um, no, we don't want bombs our key. We could really take advantage of golden bombs here, but it does put us in a precarious position. We also need to kill the boss first, otherwise we're going to end up walking off of the map. I'm going to gamble. Yay, we got an item. Unfortunately, it's an item that we... Actually, do I want to take that? The Solomon's thing's good, but... Uses one to two random tarot cards. It's a six-room charge, though. No, I'm going to stick with what I got, sadly. Yeah, we really need to find the boss. Good, good. At least we're getting a lot of chests. Now, dude, Isaac's heart, I keep forgetting about you. I keep forgetting I have you. You keep screwing me over. Oh, we are getting a lot of stuff. Dude, just pop it. Speedball. I actually quite like the speed here. Dude, went the wrong way again, though. Damn it, we lose so much luck from this. Where the hell's the boss at? Why is it always when you've got, like, Cares the Blind or whatever, you just can't fathom where the right way would be? literally always the case. I don't know where I haven't been. It's infuriating. Okay, good. Dude, so many chests. I love it. I guess we take that. We're not using anything else in our trinket pocket right now. Good. Ah, I can't grab that key, unfortunately. I do not have flight. Item room. Singularity is almost charged up again. So that wasn't the right way either. Honestly, where the hell is the right way? This makes no sense. I'm, I'm actually... I'm actually baffled right now. What? Where the hell is it? I'm going to try and get another planetarium item, but it probably won't work. Oh, I got one. Palace. Nice. Hey, we got Spurred as well. That's Flight. That's really good for us. Okay, we cleared the case. How did I manage to go all the way over there and not see that there's rooms to, to go to? So we're going to lose all of our luck and probably go into the negative here, which, duckling, you've kind of screwed us pretty heavily. Yeah, how did I not see that this is where I was meant to be going? We're there now. Okay, just try and place golden bombs everywhere. Open as many red rooms as we can. We're going to go on a red room adventure. I'm just going to make sure we don't walk off of the map. Yeah, golden bombs with this setup is, uh, is kind of ludicrous how good it is. Few bombs around there. Pop one there. Pop one there. One there. Isaac's heart being a bitch. Thank you for that. We can just keep mapping out the whole thing, baby. Gain some luck back. Only some, though. We are going to lose some on the way back. Sticky nickel is actually sticky. Wow. I don't know what uh, item pool I'd get if I pulled from this room. Dude, Nightmare Tick's back again. Go away. <laughs> we don't like you, Nightmare Tick. 
That's a, that, that's one of those items that I just can't fathom why many people would want to take. It just, it, it ruins the uniqueness of your build just for stats, which I just think isn't fun. Oh, dude, did that move really? Right, just bomb them all open. Then we've got red rooms galore to, to pick from. Um, keep picking up stuff. Like, let's see what we get from one of these rooms. Okay, so that that what that was just a regular item room. Makes a range. A second cash room here. Got those. Right, you guys. I need to get, get all of you at the same time. Using the iframes. Oh, I've got Isaac's heart. I don't need to worry about the iframes. Okay, that's cool. That helps. My god, we're going to be here a while. We're going to open up all the red rooms. I'm not going to do this every floor, obviously. It's only because i got golden bombs this floor that I want to do this. And I can get a bunch of extra items from it. It's not the annoying it can give me an active while I've already got actives, but... There you go. Okay. We've reached the limit that way. We did find another treasure room here. Which has reverted into this. We're starting to get up to the good amounts of luck now. We're getting a lot more stuff. From room clears. I like it. Be careful. Pay attention to Isaac's heart. Ooh, the fool is potentially pretty good here for getting us back without going through a bunch of rooms and losing charges. Uh, losing uh, luck, sorry. Another room here. Oh, this is starting to fill out nicely. Or we can just error room it as well and go down straight to the next floor. We have easy access to error rooms here, so I won't be opposed to that idea. Excuse me, where did that... What hit me there? Let me get him, Wisp Guy. Interesting. Alpha Coin, stop giving me active items. God damn it. Really? I just paid 20 cent for friend zone. This guy's a ripoff. Dude, I don't want active items. I already have an active item. Although to be fair, alpha coin. Ow, hit myself there, didn't realize. Alpha coin's actually potentially pretty good. We'd definitely like some more health, though. Our health is looking pretty dire right now. I have somewhat squandered my HP. Yeah, Alpha coin just can give us money and cards and stuff, so it's more way to get charges. Right, can, can things stop moving my goddamn bombs? That's a black heart, I like that. Uh, Sinus Scar, care rooms contain pentagrams that grant uh, for the floor one black heart and damage multiplier, that's really nice. Is that retroactive? Can I get one still? If I bomb out and then come back in, will it be there? No. That's a shame. Right, stop knocking everything away. 
Balls of steel there is so goddamn nice. Bomb here as well. Oh, God damn it. I can't put a bomb down while I'm shooting at stuff. It just goes everywhere. So many items, baby. This is the way you play this character. <laughs> On the grand adventure of going through every single room. Okay, wh where's the actual border? Is this the border? That is the border. Okay, we, fa we found a border. Can't go that way. Oh, little, little mini bombs. Nancy bombs doing some good stuff here. I like that. I like having flight here and stuff as well. Although it just gave us a heart that time. God damn it. Okay, I don't care for that. Right. So we go this way, this way. And come up out here. I think we found the upper limit on this side as well. Look. Keep going all the way to the right here. Because why the hell not? Extra key. Just so many extra items. Have we not found the ultra secret room yet? I don't think we have, have we? <laughs> all of these red rooms. Oh, dude. That was a much larger explosion than I was expecting. Um, that bomb just kind of disappeared there. Okay. So we can still go up more here. And so we shall. I'm guessing this will be the limit though, right? It is, it is, okay. So now we want to go this way. All the mini Isaacs and stuff. Another item. Bob's heart, why not? We've got Isaac's heart, why not go with Bob's heart as well? It seems fittingly cruel for me. Hey, 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 stop blasting me away from the chest. Lock upgrade, like it, I like it. So basically we're going to go up, down, up, down, up, down here. Pop that, get an extra coin there. Don't know what this one does. Just going to pop it and see what happens. Slow down the music, that's all I know. And as you can see here, from doing this, we are gaining a lot of extra luck. To the point where it doesn't really matter what we do after this. Oh, Soul Heart. Very, very nice. Another item. Bobby Bombs. We have a, we have a bomb run going on right now. Pheromones. Die. I need to get to my next red room. <laughs> I've got places to be. This is why this item is so good. You get one golden bomb and you are absolutely set. Got a bed here. Although that, that's a yucky bed, but I think they do, do still heal you for three soul hearts if you only have soul hearts, right? I can never remember. I'm pretty sure they do. Yes, they do. Good, good, good. Good to see. Good to see. You taken care of as well. And across. See, the thing is, we're not going to we're not backtracking into any room, so we're just gaining luck constantly here. And I'm just gaining as many items as I possibly can on the way. Sir Junkin is an interesting one. We can play around with him. Any active items we now actually have something to do with them, we can bomb them. I could go back and bomb the other ones, but I'm not losing that much luck. That would be a lot of luck lost. 
another chest. Hurt myself with something once again. Never really know what's going on with that. Almost got enough for another item again. Bad guess. Model Rocket is a really intriguing one here, and this might just break everything. We'll see. <laughs> Basically, they start at they start a really slow acceleration, then speed up. I don't really know how that's going to work for us, but I guess we'll find out. Didn't think I'd be getting to 50 luck on this episode, but you just never know what's going to happen. Seems like we're still able to hit things, so that's good at least. Mitosis. Yeah, the model rockets are still getting there. It's just they're a bit funky the way they do it now. Right. Go through all of these. Bomb that while we wait. Got to stay well enough away just in case it does exactly that. The bomber boy effect. So many red rooms. We have made this floor so large. So large and in charge. Don't really care about actually using that, but there you go. Oh, what on earth happened there? <laughs> I think that was some sad bomb shenanigans right there. Right, I'm pretty sure we're at the limit at this side, so let's just check. No, we are not. Wow. Okay. We've still got so much to go. So much to go. Right. This has to be the limit, right? Yes, it is. Okay. So we know where our error room is now. We have found that limit. And basically, we do the exact same thing we just did at the top, but on this side. But I think we'll end off, I think we'll end off this craziness there, because even though I could go for more red rooms, I feel like that's just getting to the point now where it's getting ridiculous. <laughs> It's getting a bit nutty. Judas's tongue, thank you. Item wise, we get Burner Baby. We liketh the Burner Baby. Burn Heart becomes Black Heart, I like that. Neither of these do anything for us, so that's not ideal. Oh my god, what happens with the brimstone? It goes so wild. I don't know how to manage that. Right, another item. The bean. Huzzah. Joyful? I guess I'll just take joyful, why not? Don't knock my bombs. How dare you? I mean, that still worked, but I'm still annoyed. <laughs> A Pethra is pretty good for us here. We can hold on to that. Dad lost coin. Pethra. <laughs> Perfecto, Pethra. Okay, I think this is pretty much end of the line now. Still didn't find my ultra secret room somehow. I mean, uh, I'll be honest, I'm not that bothered considering. But I am a little surprised. Good, good. Singularity's ready again. Pentacles is good. Potentially get doubles of items we pick up. Last few rooms before we set sail. I don't know where you're going. Get some glitter bomb action on occasion as well, giving us more charges. I like that. Cool. Tough love. Oh, tough love. What an amazing one to grab right now.
secret room here. So, I think we just do error room now then, don't we? Which will be left from this way. Thanks for that telepills, that's super helpful. We're going to lose a bunch of luck because of that now. This is giving us charges, I was just checking if it was. Dude, telepills needs to stop, like right now. Right, can I can I at least bomb down here and get out this way? I can, good. Right, just keep going this way. Error room out. Another item. Bloodshot Eye. We've not got the best items ever out of Singularity thus far. This is giving us a lot of charges. My goodness. I really want to go and explore more, but it's just... It takes too long, man. I can't be here forever. Just is a good card for us. Tammy's head. Ooh, Tammy's head's probably better for us right here. Look how far out this goes. <laughs> Dude, telepills again? How dare you? Stop with the telepills. Ricketts? Oh, that's going to be so bad for us, but I'm going to take it. Yeah, we get knocked back when we shoot. It's terrible, but why not? Right, Thanatosis, I don't really care for. Right, now it's just trying to use the rest of this never-ending golden pill. There you go, we used it. Right, let's get one more item, and then we'll go. I just can't leave it. I can't just leave all this potential. <laughs> the fucking, really? Solar cane. Okay, we are out of here. We are out of here. Finally, after all that work, we are gone. My goodness, that was that was something. I mean, now we have an insane run, and we have 63 luck, so even if we backtrack, we're not likely to lose out on a lot. How can we have a... How, that, in that last room, we had a bunch of baby creators. Does that seem to do that curse? Bad gas. How is a pill unidentified? Golden pill should identify the pills that you use. From now on, I think we're just kind of in beeline mode. I think we've make, made the most of this run. I could have another floor like that, but I feel like at this point we've got all, we've got a lot of value. We've got the power we need to get a victory. It would be slightly redundant. In fact, this floor we can probably emperor. Booba, booya. I said booba then. I meant booya. Easy. Um, we will take this. We'll check this out and pop this. Ah, oh, really? And away we go. Yeah, being able to emperor a floor there. Very, very nice. I think we needed it to be able to skip skip a floor. Because things are getting a bit crazy. Junkan, I'm sorry I haven't fed you yet. I should have uh, I should have bombed that book back there, but I just kind of forgot you existed. No offense. Destroy the mushrooms. Give me my fire rate increase. Now we just gotta hope I go the right way. Here was. Um, let's use it in this next room here. There's a patch or something there. I don't think it was actually that useful for us, to be honest. I mean, we could I could have used it to skip the floor, to be honest. That would have been probably a better usage. I did get ourselves this, which, again, I can use to skip the floor, so... 
I don't need to kill Mum's heart for anything, do I? Although it will send me down rather than up, so I can't really do it. Yeah, why am I getting three crater babies on occasion? What's that about? Uh, also, as well, just so you know, now that we're on this floor, using our singularity will only give us an item in special rooms such as boss rooms. If I use it right now, it won't give us an item. That essentially prevents it from just being an endless stream of items, but we kind of already got our, our endless stream, so... Yeah, this is a pretty horrible room, so I'm just gonna, just gonna get out of here while I can. Oh, really? That had to be the wrong way, didn't it? That had to be the wrong way. Ah! Do you know what? Maybe I will just take the uh, the Satan fight rather than going to Cathedral. Because I don't, I don't want to lose all my luck. I don't want to backtrack that far. I might just give myself a negative and go this way. Wait, wait, what? Oh, wait, no, I'm okay, okay. I, I, was, I was thinking I was on the wrong womb for some reason. That's fine. Yeah, I was thinking I was on a different level of the womb. Ooh, that's interesting. I could try and use it in here for a low chance at an item. And I did, and I didn't get an item. Right. Yeah, I completely forgot. I thought I was on womb 2 already. That worked out fine, then. That worked out just fine. Excuse me, big sir. Ah, oh, God damn it. The womb will forever be the worst thing in the world. I don't want to go the wrong way, please. Give me mapping. Give me mapping right now. <laughs> Dude, I love using Tammy's head. Um, I don't know why those items are rotating, but I will try and take emoji glasses here. It's going to be kind of hard to do. Just wait until you see him, I guess. Yes, I got him. I've got a lot better at that now. But emoji glasses, although we won't visually be funny because well, do we we just fire in teeth now. It will still be funny to see. Dude, the Tammy's head teeth. So much damage there. The teeth do three times damage and the Tammy's head do 2.5 times damage on top of that, I think. So the Tammy's head teeth shots are uh, doing numbers. They're doing a lot to help us. And they kind of hover around for a little while and hit multiple enemies as well, so... They're good in multiple ways. Oh, I think the crater baby is just because I got, um... I got an extra item wisp with my pentacles item, didn't I? That makes more sense. Okay, you're fine. Back this way. Dingleberry's a good trinket. I like it. I might even take that. I don't have to go back for it, but still. Give me that dingleberry. Give me, give me that dingleberry. Give me, give me that dingleberry. Okay, cool. We found the boss. <laughs> Look at that damage. We just did instantly. Oh, I love it. So, apparently, I just, I just have glitched crown now. I don't really know where I got this from. Um, green orange is the best one here. A uh, mum's suppository actually is better, I think. Uh, after mum's lipstick. Uh, visually, I'm so fucking convoluted here that it's hard to get what I want. But there you go, I got it. Good damage up, nice. Yeah, I just I just have glitch crown now. I guess it's kind of nice to have, <laughs> but I'm not entirely sure why. I'm not entirely sure why. Okay, let's keep moving. Our rickets haven't been too bad here. I thought the rickets would be way more annoying. Oop, there's a secret room there doing something funky. Don't know what's going on with that. Minimap secret room is not okay. We've got 81 luck. Do we have rock bottom now as well or something? Because our luck doesn't seem to be going down. We go into rooms we've already been in either. Oh, this is an annoying room. I don't think we need to actually bother with this room as much. I think I can get in here. Yeah, with flight, this is way easier. Oh, dude, there's another one over there. What an annoying-ass room. 
Why would someone do that? <laughs> right, you die too. I don't care if I'm taking damage. I am beelining it. I do not care for damage. Fire out the fires. That's where it's all at right now. So much of our damage is coming from my fires, even though our tears are pretty awesome. Our protection is definitely coming from the fires. There you go. I love it when enemies spawn in the middle on top of it, because it's just like, dead. <laughs> so much damage straight away. Okay, he did manage to pull off one fly away. I'm not best pleased about that, but it is what it is. Got him. Okay, that was a pretty pretty speedy floor there, and we got one last one to go, and it is it is all over. We do actually get items here. Ooh, fruit cake would be delightful. Yeah, baby. I'm getting a lot better at that. Tech Zero would have been really good, but also quite laggy. The rest of these I just don't particularly care about. I don't know what happened there. Box of Wires maybe did that? I don't know. It seems to. Yeah, Box of Wires seems to be doing some shenanigans. I'm not opposed to it right now. I am taking a bit too much damage right now, though, dude. But yeah, box of wires. Don't know what you do, but you're amazing. Clearly amazing. Oh, look at that. I don't know where we're going here. Dude, this is amazing. Oh, my God. Soul of Lilith. You know I love it. Give me that Hot Wheels, baby. Ah, damn it. We got an active item that time. Junkin! Finally, some food! Some good eats! You have leveled up one time. Okay. We are now good to go. And last item. Golden Idol. Okay. Don't know what that does for us, but thank you. We got two Hot Wheel cars in here as well. Oh man. <laughs> what happens when you let a man go to every single golden room, uh, red room even? You get something quite, quite intense. <laughs> this has been a hell of a fun run. I'm glad I played this character today. Wasn't expecting to have such a good time, but we really did. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. That was a lot of fun. A lot and a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.